Welcome to Bulgaria! Uh, if this is your first time watching, my name is Beth and my husband Joel and I are backpacking from Europe to Australia. Uh, it's been a while since we've made a video, but the reason I'm making this one is because we've met someone on our travels who I think is extraordinary. Uh, so her name is Ursula and we met her back in Ukraine in a hostel kitchen. Ursula was cooking and I came in and we started talking and when I asked her what she was doing and where she was going, what she ended up saying to me is that she uh, started in Ukraine and is walking back to Wales over the course of about two years. And I just thought this was so amazing. Like I just, I had two thoughts. One, holy crap, I can't believe you're doing this. And two, I hope you don't leave this kitchen because I've got so many questions that I want to ask you. So I ended up learning that this wasn't Ursula's first big walk. In 2012, she found out that she had ovarian cancer, and after her operation, she decided to walk the 370 kilometers to her follow-up appointment at the hospital. Then, just over a year later, not only did she decide to walk to that follow-up appointment, but she decided to turn that into the start of a 6,000 kilometer charity walk all over Wales, raising money for ovarian cancer, which she then went on to write a fantastic book about, which was just published at the end of 2018. Um, Ursula's book is called One Woman Walks Wales. Over 18 months and in some of the most gruelling weather conditions she walked more than 3,700 miles covering the length and the breadth of Wales. It was a combined way of, of having my own adventure but also doing this is my piece of um, fundraising and symptoms awareness. Is a flag going to go out That's with you somewhere it. else? Oh, yeah, I could take the flag. I, I want to walk across Europe. I guess what I think is most extraordinary about her is that she's taken this huge life-changing step and she is unafraid to document that and be really honest about what that's been like for her. So two months after we said goodbye to her in Ukraine, we met up with her again in the snowy mountains in Romania and we walked with her for a day, brought her some food, hung out, and we just had a really good conversation about like what kind of person it takes physically and mentally to walk across here. idea of like that in order to do something like this you have to be kind of a, an intrinsically athletic person uh-huh you know you have to yes. love the outdoors and always be super physical and succeed at everything and and actually like i really hated sports in school yeah 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 and i was crap i was crap at everything <laughs> yep and and i was picked last like i actually would have that complete humiliation of standing there waiting and so I've never really kind of thought of myself as being very physically capable or athletic and then suddenly like all I had to do was find my thing yeah it turns out that I really can like obviously I really can do this yeah at what point did you like overcome that and think that I am physically capable I could do something as mammoth as walk across a country. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I mean, in some ways, I still don't think of myself as physically capable. And I still have that kind of... Which from the outside seems so crazy, just for the record. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I think letting go of competition mm. um, is a constant uh, struggle for me. I work on allowing myself just to be just to exist and just to walk and it doesn't matter how far i go in a day like no distance is failure per day so i mean that's what i really like about ursula is that she is not the kind of person you would assume would be doing this um and she is really open and honest about what this has been like for her and what it takes to do this so that's why i wanted to make this video so that to share her with you, I guess. It sounds weird, but... Um, so right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head to the train station and we're gonna go meet her because she's veering off her path to have a week off and come spend it with us. There goes a the train. I mean, she's here. Ta-da! You made it! <laughs> this is Ursula! Hey. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Ah. I'm good. Good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so out here on a walk with Ursula. Um, 
And I think the question that I want to know, and probably people watching really want to know, is why, what made you want to walk across Europe? <laughs> like, yeah, that's definitely the question we all want to know. No, that's the worst question. <laughs> is it? <laughs> yeah. Because people are asking me in this kind of incredulous kind of way, like, why would you mm. possibly want to suffer so much? <laughs> and the answer is, I don't. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this view is the why. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You know? Just stumbling upon the shepherd who's looking at us like yeah, we're crazy. Yeah, I know. Sorry, don't want to know. <laughs> Every day is uh, these incredible experiences that aren't normal. Yeah. Aren't part of normal life. And yes. Every, every day is kind of infused with flavour. But that doesn't answer the why question of why the hell would you walk? <laughs> yeah. And I, just, I just don't know. I feel like none of my decisions have been this conscious choice. Yeah. Um, hmm, how shall I go about creating an adventure? It's kind of like, oh, maybe I could walk there. Uh, you know, yeah. just like I'm fumbling about all the time. And somehow I have found that they're really good for me and make complete sense. And so yes. I carry on doing them and I'm good at them. And then, yeah, it's like I've stumbled into yeah. this is my existence. And actually it really suits me. Yeah. It's almost like this secret, you know, like more people could be doing this, but they're not. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of people are more physically capable than they think. Uh huh. Yeah. But not everybody is physically capable of this journey. Yeah. But the letting go of fear and the stepping into the unknown and the testing yourself and that's the adventuring part that is applicable to everybody, not no matter what size your personal challenge. Yeah. You know, it could be just going to the shops. <laughs> And you're, you know, it's not like when you look at people who are living more conventional lives, nobody says to them, what's the point? Yeah, yeah people, I often ask people the question like, what's your focus? What are you aiming towards? And I get really disappointed when people are like, oh, you know, just getting by. And I'm like, what's that? So I'm just like, <laughs> it's your video. Getting... You can swear if you want. You're <laughs> just getting by. What's the point of that? Just not, you know, just not just staying safe and not challenging yourself and then just yep. dying yeah 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 and life is What's over the point of that? yeah what do you think you've learned the most about yourself um that i am a definitely a strong person yeah and that i'm pretty stubborn <laughs> <laughs> on the first walk i didn't really ever think about stopping yeah. I never thought, I never wanted to quit. You never thought, never, yeah, yeah, you never let that get into your head. No. And and so that kind of shows me like, wow, you can endure all that and still not quit. And that's like, huh, okay. Yeah. And how long do you think it will take you to walk back to Wales? When I left, I just told everyone two years. So I uh -huh. just had two years in my head and it can be that long, uh, mainly because that was how long my budget was for. Yep. Um, I don't think it will take me that long. I'd estimate maybe huh. another year, another 12 months from now. Yeah. What What next after that year? Write a book. Yes? Yeah. About this walk. About the walk. Yeah. And I keep... Yeah, tell me this part. This is what this is what I already know the answer to, but think it's amazing. Yes, tell us. <laughs> I keep wondering about whether I could walk around the world. No, oh, I think that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I mean, I, I did like, like, I had one route in mind. But then I'm I'm gonna be forty, but when I finish, yes, and that is a fifteen-year journey minimum. Fifteen years for me. The speed I walk at, honestly, it's basically the rest of my life spent walking, and I don't I don't think I want to do that. Yeah, I mean, when you know, when you really go, well, I'd leave at forty-five. Yeah. All oh, right, finish at sixty, just in time to sign up for hip replacement. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I'll just get you know a partner and then go and live settle down and become a knitter and a, <laughs> and a novel writer okay. you know like there's, there's yeah, loads yeah, of possibilities yeah, yeah. and I feel like it's kind of come up in this walk like what am I choosing in this walk you know I'm choosing lots of solitude and I'm choosing mm -hmm. not to have a home community and I'm choosing yep well, I haven't got a partner and so is that really what I want forever because I, I don't I don't know if it is I mean, you said it before, you just had to, you found your thing and now yeah. you're doing it. And that yeah. is just so inspirational to me. And that's what I find yeah. really admirable about you and why I was so excited when we first met in the kitchen. <laughs> and so if you're watching and you think that 
Ursula's story is as inspirational as I do, then please share it because Ursula's got a Patreon account and you can support her there. You can follow her on all the social medias, which will be linked below. You can buy her book she wrote about walking around Wales, which I've just finished. And it's like so well written. Ursula isn't <laughs> Ursula yes, number one fan. <laughs> <laughs> she's not just an adventurer. She's actually a writer. Oh. She's not like a hockey player who then wrote a book and it, the book is just... <laughs> Blah. It's yeah. like a writer who's gone on an adventure. Oh, so wow. the book will be linked below. Um, so thank you for watching this video. And yes. thanks. thanks. I feel like I should you. hug you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. <laughs>